Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be looking at the Chesapeake and Ohio Caboose Kit. Let's open it up. And take a look at the parts. First up, we have the body. Now on the body, you're gonna to wanna to take special note right here, the smokestack. There is a specific position that the smokestack goes in. So you're gonna to wanna to look into the hole and double check to see where the flat spot is on the hole. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check along the inside of the tab here, okay? Sometimes the paint gets built up there. So what you wanna do, just scrape the paint off from the edge just to make sure on both sides that the tab is not gonna get hung up on anything. Make sure it's nice and smooth, and there you go. Next, we have the floor. Now the floor, you're gonna to wanna to go along and check for flashing as well, especially in the ends here where the couplers go. It's very common that there will be flashing in there. And also these holes here along the ends for the ladder and for the railing, you're gonna to wanna to check and make sure that those are clear on both sides. Next, we have our underframe, and same thing again, you're gonna to wanna to go and check for flashing inside any of the coupler boxes, and anything that's sticking up along the bottom, anywhere that might hold it up or make it not sit nice and flat. Next, we have a steel weight. Now with the steel weight, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you look right down the edge of the steel weight and make sure it is nice and straight. And just bend it with your fingers if you need to. And also this one here, we have already gone ahead and painted the instructions. In the bag of parts, we have two wheel sets and two long screws, two short screws for the weight. There should also be this little detail part in the bag where it has two brake gear boxes, two brake wheels, and a smokestack. Two end railings and two ladders. Two horn and hook couplers, but we will not be using these. We will be using a KD number no. five coupler. Once you've gone through and checked all your parts and made sure there's no flashing or painted anything that you wanted and got your couplers ready, then we're all ready for assembly. So for assembly, we are going to want to start with our floor and our underframe. And one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to start with the couplers. So we are going to take our coupler and make sure that we put the coupler spring down, line it up with the hole there. And we're gonna take our KD Greasem and we are going to put some dry graphite in there to lube it, make sure that the coupler gets lube. And then we are going to stick the underframe on. Now there is a part here that has detail on it and then this side has a little bit less detail. I usually like to put that in behind the box that is here. So we can go ahead and set that on there. We can bring our coupler over and we can just lift this up a little bit and stick our coupler in the upper side where the hole is. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that everything is lined up in there. It is going to go down okay. And it will actually clip into place and make sure that the hook is moving freely. And then we can come around and do the same thing to the other side. And you can just lift this up a little bit. making sure the coupler is free and everything is clipped in. There we go, our hooks are installed. So once we have our hooks in our floor and under frame together, we can flip it over and we can go ahead and stick the weight on. Now you're gonna put the weight on with the two short screws in the end holes. Next, we can go ahead and put our wheel sets on. Now these wheel sets, the axles are a little rusty. If you want, you can always take and clean them up and paint them. I am not gonna do that right now. I might do that later. But you can take your wheel set, set your screw in there, and then drop it down over the hole. And then it should go in the hole and you can start to screw it down. Make sure that the wheel does have free play and that it's not too tight. And then go ahead and do the other side. Okay, then we can flip it back over and we can start to uh, 
put our railings and our brake wheel gearboxes on. Now to start with, we are going to need to put our railings on and these railing holes here at the end, you might need a pin drill to go ahead and make sure that they are free and actually clear all the way through on both sides. Okay, then we can go ahead and stick our railing in first. Now the railing here, you can paint it, it is steel. You can go ahead and paint it if you want, dress it up a little bit and make it look a little nicer and protect it a little longer. So once we have our railing in, we are going to need to break off the brake gearbox and the brake wheel from this little detail part here. You might as well do both sides at the same time. You're gonna to wanna to check them for flashing. These brake wheels usually have some flashing on the backside and you wanna get rid of it in this particular case because it is gonna stick out and possibly not look so good. So we'll clean that off. Then we can go ahead and stick the two pieces, the brake wheel into the gearbox. Now, hopefully, as long as they go in nicely without glue, that is good but some of them are loose and you might need to put glue on it, but no, these ones seem to be pretty good. And then when we're done with assembling the brake gearbox, the brake gearbox actually will go over top of the railing and sit down into the floor. Sometimes you might need glue, sometimes it will sit very nicely. This one looks like it's gonna sit in there very nicely. So then you can go ahead and do the same to the other side. There we go, our floor is all done. So we can put that aside. And the next thing we need to do is the body. Now there's not much to assemble on the body. We just need to put the smokestack in here. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a specific way that this goes in and it is not gonna sit in there very tightly. So we are going to need to put a little bit of glue on here. So what we are going to do is we are just going to put a little tiny bit of glue onto the flat spot that's on here. Not too much, just a little dab. And then stick that into the hole, making sure we have the right orientation, like so. Okay, next are the ladders. So we're gonna stick the ladders in the end holes here. Now it does go through the roof into a second set of holes. So you have to get that lined up to go through there like so. And then I like to give it a little bend around so that it will sit in the body a little nicer. And then we do the same with the back. There we go. Now there is another thing that you are gonna wanna pay special attention to and it is this box door here. So this little box door actually lines up with this side with this little box on the side of the floor. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get those two lined up when you go to put it together. Get it started with the ladders, ladders in the holes. Make sure that it's all lined up. We can get the body lined up with the holes in the floor. And then once everything is lined up, just go ahead and snap it together. Down like so, make sure everything is still properly put together. Sometimes the ladders are a little difficult. Make sure they're in, make sure the brake gear boxes are in. And there we have it. Our caboose is all assembled. Now we just need to check the hooks. So as you can see here, we have our caboose on the track and the couplers actually line up pretty decently. It does need to be bent up a little bit. It, it is touching the bottom plate there a little bit. So a little bit of a bend on the tab would be good but other than that it's lined up pretty nice there we go our caboose is all assembled and ready for the layout <laughs> <laughs>